What's good, YouTube? This is your man Ray Maple out of Buffalo, New York. Start my uh, motor vlog page on YouTube. I will be motor vlogging from several different bikes that I have. Right now, I'm riding with my nephew, teaching him how to ride so he can get his motorcycle license on September 23rd of this month right here. Hopefully, you know, we can teach him well enough so he can pass. Teach him very good. Um, about me, I am a tech for a transit system here in Buffalo. I, I fix the city transit buses here. So that's part of my nature of what I do. And a little about my bikes. I have a 2008 GL 1800 Gold Wing Level 3. All chromed out. All lit up. It's a rolling Karyakin billboard. It has RC component custom wheel on the front. Custom sound system in it. Custom ultimate seats on it. From the um, ultimate factory that makes the seats. Very expensive seat. But for what I spent for it, it would have to be the best purchase that I made on this bike. Because I am able to ride a thousand miles on this bike in a day, which I have done it already. Me and a couple of buddies that I ride with, which you guys will be seeing. My man Hurricane, Jack Fagans, and Lizard all have gold wings. My man Hurricane has a 2004 GL1800 gold wing. My man Jack Fagans has a 2009 GL1800 gold wing. And my man Lizard has a 2001 and a 2009 GL1800 gold wing. The 2001 he's selling. I don't think he sold it yet. If you know anybody interested in a gold wing, he has one. I don't know how much he wants for it. You can contact me and I will pass the information off to him. Very nice bike. Dark color blue gold wing 2001, 40,000, 40 or 41,000 miles on it. A uh, little about my bikes. I have a 2009 Suzuki Bergman 650 Executive that I had custom. Did all the work myself except for the seats and the, um, the rims. I sent the rims to Houston, Texas to a place called Atlas Chrome Plating. Had them gold chrome these wheels to mimic 24 karat gold. The rims, the hand grips, and the badges and the front garnish is all gold chrome plated. I will be doing an in-depth video on the 2009 Bergman and the 2008 Bergman and also my 2004 Suzuki Hayabusa Limited Turbo. A little about that bike. Like I said, it's a 2004 Suzuki Hayabusa Turbo Limited, black frame. Has a stage 2 velocity turbo in it. Water injection. Motor's been studded top to bottom. Has two intake cams in it. It has um, custom seats on it that I sent to Puerto Rico and had those, cut, had those custom done. Custom airbrush work on it. The color on it is a factory Suzuki color. A tri-color, which is a candy paint on it. It has RC component spinner wheels front and back. The back rim is a 18 by 8.5 and the front rim is a stock 17 by 3.5. Let me see what else. It has water injection on it where you can run higher boost levels with it and still run pump gas. I may change that to an intercooler if I can find an intercooler that fits inside the fairings of the bike so you don't know it's there. Right now, I have the fuel pump out of that because I have is had issues with it when I put it together. When I did the stage 2 velocity, they do a 044 pump with it, and it's an external pump like how the 2000 and 2001 Hayabusa's came. They had a problem with the 2001-2000-2001 Hayabusa's uh, vapor locking. And I rode this bike up until last year. Never had a problem until last year of it vapor locking. I would have put the pump in the tank when I did it, but at the time they didn't offer a pump to put in the tank. So I found a company that makes a pump that's you can replace the stock Suzuki Hayabusa pump. It's a company called AEM. I have that pump. Someone put this pump back in the tank, and 
eliminate my vapor locking problem. So once I get that done, all these bikes that I'm talking about, you will see me riding them and moto vlogging from each one of them. Setting all the helmets up for them. So when I ride, because I have custom helmets for each one of the bikes that I ride. Hayabusa has a Shoei RF1000. I have two of those. The Gold Wing, I ride with a Suzuki, I mean, a um, Shoei multi tech modular helmet. The front flips open. The 2008 GSXR 1000 that I have has a Shoei RF 1000 helmet and the 2009 Suzuki Bergman executive I ride with um, also Shoei RF 1000 helmets with those. I also have a 2003 GSXR 1000 custom custom RC component wheels front and back. I made this bike for my brother. He was going to sell it. I ended up buying it from him. It has custom seats on it. Sent to Puerto Rico and had those done. It has an 18 by 8 and a half rear rim. 17 by 3.5 front rim. Stock size rim. It has a 5 inch stretch on it. Custom swing arm. Lower um, support brace. Air tank in the front of the swing arm where you can put an air air arm shifter if you want to on it with a custom air tank like I said. Um, I'm planning on doing some more to this bike. I'm going to put an LED light kit on it. Put some more chrome on it. This bike I'm not planning on getting rid of it. I'm going to keep this one because it has sentimental value to it. I did it for my brother. Why he was selling it I don't know but I ended up buying a bike. So it's very good possible you'll see me moto vlogging from that. You will also see me moto vlogging from my cars because our riding season here in Buffalo is not very long. So we only got about four or five months of riding season here. So, you know, we have to enjoy it while we can. Like I said, I am a tech for NFT Metro. I fix the city transit buses. So everything that's pretty much done on my bikes, I do it myself. Other than sending them out and having them custom seats, custom chrome and stuff like that. You can't do that at home. So the more you know how to do, the better off you will be. Um, I break down my own tires, change my own tires. On my gold wing, I have what you call centromatic wheel weights on it. So once you break them down, you'll never have to have them balanced, which is a very, very good investment for anybody that has a GL1800 gold wing. They make it for the touring bikes some Harleys and they make them for the GL1800 Goldwing. If you got a shimmy on your bike in the front end at speeds 50 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, whatever, the handlebar shake, check your tires if they're cut. You can put the um, Centromac wheel weights on it and it should take it out because mine had the same issue. Tires went prematurely at 8,000 miles and they're supposed to give you 35 to 50 percent more tread life out of your tires so that was a very good investment that I had made on my GL 1800 Goldwing so you will be seeing more from me on my moto vlog page I have a couple videos up there with no sound on them the reason being I had never hooked up my um, external mic through my helmet so this is the first time me using my external mic so when I post this this will be a first for me and stay tuned be posted please don't forget to subscribe to my page if you have any questions just holler at me if i can answer i'll be surely glad to help you out any way i can on that note this is your man ray maple from buffalo new york and oh yeah don't forget go bills let me get back to my nephew so we can ride we're on our way to niagara falls right now check out the falls and we're going to do a probably about 75 miles on the Elite 250s today, and I'll get back to you. One.